everyone. So I'm actually filming in my teaching studio because it's 5.30 a.m. and I don't want to wake up the rest of my family because <laughs> they're all sleeping. So yeah, don't think that if your baby ever sleeps through the night that you're going to get lots of sleep because you're still going to be on, <laughs> on the routine of waking up every few hours like I am. Um, yeah, I basically woke up really sweaty and engorged, so I had to express. But yay for me, it's the first time that I've been able to express 100 mil. So I'm really excited. I didn't even do hand pumping, I just did the, the machine. Um, I know there's still a little bit in there, but he usually wakes up around 7, so I'm going to leave it in there just in case he wakes up. Because I don't want him to have to suck on it and have nothing there. <laughs> so yeah, I'll leave it in there for him. Um... Yeah, I just wanted to update you because I did um, a day in the life for the first time on Friday, I think, yeah, Friday. And um, I didn't film yesterday being Saturday just because we were so tired. Um, it was basically a day of rush around in the morning, like manic rush. Um, I was so rushed for time that I was, <laughs> I didn't have shoes on, my hair wasn't done, I didn't have makeup on. And I was supposed to teach and Liam just would not breastfeed at all. Um, my husband had to leave for work like, a little bit earlier than me, about 10 minutes earlier than me. And um, I was supposed to drop Liam next door by like 9 o'clock so I could teach at 9.30. And I ended up <laughs> running with the pram across the park next door and my students saw me running and they got really confused. And they were like, hang on, which house is it? <laughs> so they like went to park in her driveway and then they like, hang on, where's she going? And then um, when the kids came in, because I was so rushed for time, they were five minutes early and I was running five minutes late. They were like, hey, why don't you have any shoes on? Where's your makeup? <laughs> it's really weird. So I just had to say, I'm sorry, I didn't have time, you know. I had to drop off the baby. So I felt kind of bad leaving Liam at his first babysitter. Um, not being fed properly, being crying, not being burped. And he hasn't had a bath. Like, I haven't bathed him since... Thursday which I feel bad about so he definitely needs a bath today and I haven't showered since then either because I've been so busy anyway so yeah yesterday was just a day of working and then sleeping pretty much and we ate terribly yesterday so I, I didn't want to vlog everything I ate because uh, I'm probably like a million jillion times now no, I exaggerate I'm probably like heavier than I was because I was down to 155 kilos I think I'm probably back up to 158, 159 now. I haven't weighed, but I don't really want to. <laughs> so I'm not happy about that. So we need to have a walk today. Because, yeah, in bed, I was so, like, wanting to move around that I was just, like, jiggling my feet in the bed. Sort of, like, hyperactive. And my husband's like, hey, stop, I'm tired. So, yeah, I really need to go out and have some exercise. So I just wanted to update you about what happened that night after because um, I made my husband a Valentine's Day present and I wanted him to find it on after work so I left it like right in front of the front door <laughs> so go check out that video, it's up here if you um, if you would like to see that and you haven't yet um, so yeah basically what happened was it was about 1am and I put the present right there he came in at 106 I was just finalising things in the teaching studio so I could just walk in thank god I did after all um, anyway, so yeah, apparently he just walked right past the thing. <laughs> I was like, is that obvious? Right in the middle of the pathway and he walked right past it. And then he sat down on the couch and he had Hungry Jacks for himself. And as you know, I had not eaten. I had not had a chance to um, have any dinner. So I hadn't eaten since 3.30pm. And there he was sitting on the couch with like a Hungry Jacks meal for himself. So I was just like sitting there with the basket in my hand, like frowning, going... Why, why didn't you open the present? He's like, oh, sorry, I didn't even realise. I must have walked past it. So that was frustrating. So he, he was kind enough to share his Hungry Jacks with me, like with the drinks he had left, which was like five chips, half a burger, and like probably, I don't know, 20 mil of, of Coke. But hey, it was something. So that was my dinner that night. Um, It was a chicken bacon crunch burger. It was so good. Anyway. Um, yeah, so then I said, well, do you want to open the presents now? And he's like, no, I'm tired, I'll just go to bed. And then Saturday was such a manic rush in the morning, we did not get to do anything. We woke up, like, 
50 <laughs> and we had to leave by nine so it was like uh, just rush I didn't even get breakfast I had to eat a muesli bar in one of my students lessons <laughs> I felt that bad so yeah yesterday I ate it's pretty terrible I had um like cocoa pops and I had like a quiche which the quiche was like probably the best thing I had but I didn't have any salad I did have a lot of water though so that was good but I haven't had any for a while that's why I'm croaky now so I need to go skull like a whole litre <laughs> Or something. Um, yeah, so that was pretty much the last two days, just to keep you updated. Um, I have been watching Daily Bumps a lot. That's been like my absolutely favourite thing to do. And what I've discovered is you can't actually search up how many months Ollie is, because their son's called Ollie. Um, so what I wanted to be able to do is go and watch her son grow up at the same point that Liam was, you know, so so I could compare what they're doing at the same ages. But there's no way to do that. So the only way I've found to do that is to figure out how many days Liam is and then find the timeline with their daily vlogs because they're all numbered when Ollie was that age. So I had to find the blog where Ollie was born, find out the day and then add Liam's age to that day. So I finally figured it out. So um, when I was doing that, I was up to day 334, I don't know, I forget anyway. So um, yeah, I was up to somewhere in the 300s, I think, no, I was up to 239, that's where I was up to, and now I'm about 243 or something, that's where I'm watching. So I'm watching the current vlogs and then I go and watch the one that Liam should be in, well, you know, the one that is Liam's age. I'm still tired. <laughs> All right, anyway, um, so, yeah, I've really, really got a passion now for daily vlogging. I think it's amazing, and I really would like to. The only thing is I don't know if I can maintain it because I'm at work. If I was a stay-at-home mum, I definitely would vlog daily. I can really, really see a reason that people would vlog daily. Um... Basically, you go mad just by yourself with a, a baby. You can't talk back. Um, so I, I really think that that would keep me sane. And I really love the idea of going back and looking at all the events that you could have, that you could see. Because you know he won't be a newborn forever. So to go back and relive that and all his glorious moments, you know his first smile, his first crawl, all that sort of thing. I think that would be really cool to to document. I haven't actually. I don't think I've managed to get his first smile or like a, a decent awake smile on camera yet so I'm hoping to, if I daily vlog like lately that I can do that so I'm really really excited about daily vlogging I don't know if I can maintain it but I'm going to try to vlog probably a day in the life hopefully once a week I think that's maybe achievable or at least the, the majority of a week so anyway I'm, I'm gonna wrap it up there I'm so awake that I'm trying to do the tasks that won't wake my family up, such as folding towels, um, that sort of thing. There's a lot of things I want to do that are noisy, like put the washing machine on, do a load of dishwashers in the dishwasher, but I know that's going to wake my husband up, so I better not. Anyway, I'm going to go, and then as soon as they're up, I'm going to have a shower because I stink and I'm really sweaty. Um, Alright, well I'll see you in the next one. Bye!